scoreboard and rock on offense. Well, here we go. Dubby's going to kick off. Start this crucial game in Group B. Short kick taking on the run. And Kiv will get wrapped up at the 36-yard line. And that's where the young Kiva will go to work. This is a big game. I think the other thing that's interesting is two of our most consistent players in Skimbo and Trueboy who have made so many live events. Both of them had a long streak going of making almost every live event because uh, we saw both of them at the Madden Classic. Oh, yeah. These are the two guys that knocked both of those players out. Prevented them from being here ended the streaks. First and ten. Kiv all day in the pocket. Good boys. Somebody can fight this a little bit. Absolutely. Somebody can fight a little bit. Throws a, a rocket to the boundary at the 41. Fight. We Kip. need a shot clock. Yeah, Kiv <laughs> give up there. Oh, the <laughs> shot clock might have went off on that one. Kiv says it's interesting. He sees everyone running this crossfire three against him, and he thinks it's because Skimbo had some success with him in online elimination, but he said what they don't realize is I've grabbed that defense and I've adapted to it, and he's been dotting it all day today. Let's see if Dubby adjusts to that because Kiv feels comfortable against that crossfire three defense. Golf once again. This time checks down to the flats. Chris Thompson makes a move mm. still on his feet to the 34-yard line. That was the first time I've seen someone use the strafe back up mechanic to avoid that fake out. Mature move right there by Dubby. Big shout out to everyone hanging out with us on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Mixer, Twitter. Not on Friendster. We didn't, we didn't sign up for that one. <laughs> Angel Fire, Geo Cities, but we're everywhere else here on second and three. Thompson. Well, there's another juke. And Kev will strike Thompson, first. Too glitchy. He's too glitchy. That's too much. Man. I told you, bro. He fight. That's too much. That's too much. All right. I don't have him again. I told you he's too glitchy. Takes a sip of the water. Let's go. I like it. I gotta see it again. The juke. The fight. The spin. Chris Ooh. Thompson. Too in the dead He's whale too celebration. Glitchy. That was a big play right there by Kevin. When you notice Kev, you think the best player in the world. Oh yeah. Well Landry's oh, yeah. gonna fight. Oh, yeah. oh, almost oh, got yeah. out of that one. You think about the prolific offense and you're thinking about the best Madden players in the world as a casual. You think they're just gonna be coming out with one play touchdowns all over the place. Uh, no, these guys are willing to take what you give them, dump it down to the flats, open up other things on offense. And I think that's what you need to pay attention to if you're a casual uh, Madden player watching at home. Is these guys' willingness to just take what the defense gives them. There's no need to force it downfield. And Kiv did a good example of that on his last possession. First and ten. Ball at the 35. Cousins. Finds Nuke Hopkins. That's close to the first down at the 44. Dubby kind of got away from that bunch offense. He's been running this gun tight offset. Throwing his opponents off a little bit, but he's had a lot of success from this formation. Second and one. Cousins once again. And Thielen dives on the playmaker. He maybe got an inch. Yeah, didn't get the first down. Third and one. This is very close to line, about a half of a yard. It goes in the running game. It's the first down and oh, more pass midfield. CJ Spiller, what? CJ Spiller sighting? It's because in that gun tight offset, it, it automatically spells the halfback for you. W looks like he forgot to. Get in there and make the substitution, get a start and halfback in that formation. Got two Clemson players on his team. How is he going to lose? He got Spiller and Hopkins. No, there's Thompson. Now Thompson's in the game. <laughs> First and ten. Good man coverage defense right there. Good work. Throws it away. Lives to find another down, second and ten from the 48, trailing by a touchdown. And you don't see that. Everyone likes to run a lot of zone. Kiv makes in a cover one robber right there. Takes away Dubby's first read, and he looked boxed. 
See if Kip runs a little more man coverage after that one. All nice day, three-man rush. There's a spy, though. Sends the spy. And Deion Jones with a punishing hit. Again, that cover one. Man-to-man -man coverage. W used to see in zone all tournament long. Kip giving him a new look. Boxed him two plays in a row. Has him on a big third and 16, Coltrane. Nice find in Nuke Hopkins at the 36. Let's go to a game break with Zach. Over on the other stage, Drini threw an interception on fourth and six. Hollywood checks down to the flat, and Vernon Davis carries it across to take the seven nothing lead. Thank you so much, Zach Farley. I mean, he's, he's everywhere. He's on the wall. He's on the Telestrator. He's doing the game breaks. Came over here, did some color commentary. It's a Swiss Army knife. He actually cooked a Ming lunch for us. Wait. No, that was a. That was I was about a, to that say. Was, I think that was another guy. Yeah, eating without me? What's going on here? <laughs> Second and I two. Wet my beak? At the 29. Oh, he's got him. Landry can't turn it upfield, and he's out of bounds at the one yard line. Look like Dubby got some separation on that man coverage right there. You see Landry runs that corner route. Couldn't turn it upfield for a touchdown, but I think Dubby will take it. Ball on the one yard line. A yard away from tying up the ball game. Landry's been huge. He's got wide receivers for days. And it's Josh Norman couldn't catch up with that one. Looks like they're going to mark this about the half yard line. Goes to the fullback. That's not... Don't call me Rob Gonkrowski. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Gronka? That's a Gronka. You got a Gronka sighted. Dubby with the perfect the kick. Mini Gronk punches it in. And we got a tie game, folks, with 122 to go. This is a ball game. When you get to the Madden Challenge and these live events, you're going to see elite competition go up against each other. These are two of the cream of the crop okay, Madden so players. Drop for me one time. Dub one time. Dub Dude, one time. Young Kiv. The scum kick in full effect. Able to recover it. Work its way to the 22. We've seen much worse today. Yeah, Dubby, he, he keeps that scum kick in his arsenal. <laughs> where Gets that awkward bounce. Sometimes it results in the. And it, he, he, he had Hollywood like running it, you know, had to take it all the way back in the end zone. Only yeah. could bring it out to the eight. Can't stand that kick. I don't expect it to be in the game long. <laughs> you know, EA is constantly updating the game, patching sure. it, changing the meta. And you just sit in Orlando, and that's the only thing you say. Oh, AJ! AJ! They're like, uh, we're, we're headed out to lunch. Can we get you some lunch, uh, RG? He's like, I hate that kick. <laughs> hey, no lunch until you fix the scum kick. Oh, AJ! Middle linebackers AJ! at tied in and scummy kicks. Ooh. <laughs> Almost broke out of Thank that one. Third and one. This is big. I want to do With Chris Thompson things. putting in work for a lot of guys in the last couple days. Third and one, three for four right there for Kev, 64 yards and a touchdown. Goff going in the flats. Tyler Eifert to the 37. That'll move the chains. That's how good he is at passing the ball. I was just going to say third and one. It's awkward for Kev because he doesn't like to run the ball often in that situation, but he just comes out and slangs it. No big deal. Seven to seven. There is Keenan Allen who makes a move. Kev just walking up the field. One thing I love is the different demographics you see playing Madden. You got young Kev, you know what I mean? He's about to start going to college, only 20 years old. Then you got Dubby, 30 years old, works with his dad. They're cutting down trees, recently turned into a full-time Madden player. I mean, Dubby was 10 years old getting it in in the sandbox <laughs> in the playground before, you know, when Kev was born. Second Big and four difference. after the scramble. It's like the difference between Madden 08 and Madden 18. Boom. That's the end of the first quarter, tied at seven. Let's go to Zach Farley with the game break. Peering in right now, seven to three. Drini got a field goal, decent drive, but stalled out in the red zone. Now Hollywood's got the ball back. 
Kareem Hunt's been pretty big in this game so far. Good feet set, Landry. Can't hang on to that rock, Scott. I'll fill you guys in. This third and eight goes anywhere. Appreciate it, Zach. Four-point game over there. We're tied up here. First and goal from the four. We'll let you know how young Kip got down there after this play. I can guarantee you it was a good one. <laughs> and they handed it to Thompson. Thompson. Come on. We up. Will push the lead back to seven for young Kiv. He's just moving the ball so effortlessly on offense. Every time you see Kiv on offense, he's just walking up the field. See Thompson gets in for six. And gee, if I got it, if I could go to topmadden.com, if young Kiv has an ebook, I'm, I'm all for it at this point. I'm sold. <laughs> well, you also have to be pretty good at passing. Oh, And I should say, if we're calling out topmadden.com, you got to give a shout out to Dubby. Yeah, need it. His neededgamingstore.com, where you can get all his needed gaming brand and his clothes. I got a couple of needed shirts. He's one of the reasons I run the Packers playbook, to be honest with you. 14 to 7. Or I run Jets if I just want to run it <laughs> nonstop. First and 10. Oh That's gosh, close to the marker. And that will be a first down for Dubby. Had the ball in the right hand. Yeah, Dubby. Spitting some bars. He says he keeps Drake in the headset. He started off with Meek Mill at his first tournament. Said he got popped with Meek in the headphones. So went to Drake after that and went on a win streak and won the Madden ball. So it's it's kind of a tra tradition now where he keeps Drake in the headphones. It was a big long pass by Kiv that you guys missed during the game break. And then Thompson capped off that drive. So now Dubby trying to answer here at the 46. Thompson working it out of the backfield. Going to be a third and two at the 37. It's two to four down territory for Dubby here. I feel like it. Four down territory, third and two on the 30. Your opponent 37. You're in that no man's land. I'm looking to run the rock right here. You, you know, you you don't get it. You go try something on fourth down. This. A little bit of audible. Cousins. Looking downfield, but doesn't have time. And that's a huge sack. That'll push him back eight yards. It's a fourth and nine. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be the biggest play of the game so far for Dub Dot Dubby. Goes from a third and two to a fourth and nine. Even though he has four offensive linemen, they let him down on that one. It's a big play right here, Coltrane. Kiff can get all kinds of momentum with a stop here. Dubby needs nine. Got to get to... Just about the 30-yard line. Look how close those safeties are. He's been bringing them up in the box all day. Throws it down into coverage. Oh. Should have been picked off. But Kiv will take over on downs at the 45. Oh, and that's not a good look for Dubby. He said he's ready to get into a shootout with Kiv. But now Kiv gets that stopped, and he is not looked vulnerable on offense. He is literally just moving the ball at will. And Chris Thompson Scott him doing a little play by play. He's on his horse. Third touchdown of the game and Kim One is stop. standing up for himself. He's all over Dubby. And here comes the extra point. And he's now One up stop. 14. You did a little play by play. Let me do a little color. Untouched. Getting sticky with it. He's on his horse. Biblical touchdown. And that was kind of crispy. 14 point lead now. Take it out past the 20. Try to spin. They're going to mark that at the 19. Let's go to a game break with Zach. Hollywood has arrived. Five play, 74 yard drive. Look at this run. The convoy full of Giants blockers. 14-3 over Drini, who's driving and is driving big time, boys. I'll have another update for you shortly. Appreciate it, Zach. 14-point game over here. We had two minutes and 37 seconds before the half. Dubby 
Got to get some sort of points here. Oh, and the thing that's interesting is if Holly's beating Trini and Kiv continues to beat W like this, you're going to have Kiv at 3-0 and <laughs> and the other three players in the group at 1-2. and two. And then, then it'll come down to points. Exactly. And, Someone's got to be doing math. We have our top men on it. Top men. Yeah. New league ops manager Steve in the back running the numbers. Gave Donnie Moore a break for this tournament. <laughs> Shout out to Donnie and Chow. Oh, yeah, both those guys. Of Justin Chow, Donnie Moore, of course, the whole crew. There's, I mean, you can't name names without leaving somebody out. Yeah, exactly. The gameplay team back there, Rex Dixon, Mike Scandalberry, Clint Oldenburg, Anthony White, Commissioner Matt Marcou. Got crews all over the office. Oh! This is picked off by Ronnie Lott. And Ronnie takes it to the 49. Wow. Young Kiv is not to be trifled with right now in this oh. tournament. He's got, the, he's got the defense going. The offense hasn't looked sleep at any point in the tournament. I, and that's the other thing. I, I mean, think he, he's thinking right now, not only am I going to beat Dubby, but I'm going to knock him out of the tournament. Yeah, because the point differential. It's a big deal. Golf. Scrambling outside, he'll just throw it away. Let's go to Zach with another game break. That'll get right. Yeah. Eight plays, 73 yards, cashes it in. Chris Thompson goes around the edge. 14-10. Drini's back in this game, but Holly still with control. Four-point game over there. 14 over here. And there's some heat. Some late pressure by Dubby. It's going to bring up a third and 17. That was a big play. Well, I like how Kim's willing to take a sack instead of force the ball downfield. Like I said, I don't think we've seen Kim make a bad read all tournament long so far. The only time I remember him getting stopped was when Drini forced the fumble on his quarterback. But that's him just taking a sack. It wasn't a bad read. I mean, young Kim's offense, it's just so impressive to watch. Third and 17 now. Going to take the delay game. Uh, that, that, that's rough. That's the commentary curse. I'm talking about how prolific the <laughs> offense is. It's crispy. And we'll take well, a little delay game. Behind that. There must have been some sportsmanship there. There you go. Could get the playoff. Third and 17 now. Bunch to the left. Leading by 14 is Kiv. He can put an exclamation point on this first half right here. You be careful with your tip. You don't want to force a turnover on this pass. Golf. No one open downfield, and Dubby will use his first time out. Now fourth and 22, and you got to punt it away here. Yeah, you definitely got to, especially with how much trouble Dubby's been having on offense. If you tip, you punt this rock, you make Dubby show you something. Both the guys with two sacks, young Kiv does have the takeaway. This punt's going to go out of bounds at the 17 yard line. Not a bad punt. That's where Dubby will try to go to work. Two timeouts, 102 left in the half. And remember, don't count out Dub Dot Dubby. This guy's got that Rocky Balboa mentality. He's going to fight until the very end. You can't give him any life. The, the guys like Dub Dot Dub, you give him any room to come back into this game, he might kick the door down, come storming back before you know it. If you're Kiv, you got to stay on your toes. First and 10 now to the 38 after the big 21 yard gain. Goes to it again. Almost picked off. That was Josh Norman on the coverage. You want to make a play, but a pick six, not what you're looking for as well. 52 ticks to go in the half. Cousins will take off and slide down at the 49. And Dubby's willing to do that. He, he talks about it openly all the time where 
I'm willing to scramble with my quarterback. Sometimes if I hike the ball, I see it's like a three or four man rush. There's no spy on the field. I'm not even looking to make reads. I'm gone just to take those yards you're giving me. That was an example of that right there. First down for W. That's why he likes Aaron Rodgers, Carson Wentz. Mm. You know, guys that, and I'll throw Derek Carr in there as well, guys that are, are great passers but also have a little bit of mobility. Yeah, and Dubby's in a weird situation there. Little time left, only the one time out. Jackson picks up the first down at the 38, and Dubby's going to use that timeout now. Yeah, only 25 seconds. So first to 10 from the 38. Dubby's out of timeouts. Cousins has time oh! and throws another one. What a click on by oh. Kev. And that's McDonald Jr. with the INT. You talk about these young bucks having reflexes. Oh. Look at Kev clicks on old school. User pick. Good stick work right there by Kev. Good reaction time and takes all the momentum away from Dubby. Kev looking to get this one seed out of Group B, guarantee himself a spot in the final four and twenty thousand dollars. Throws this one away with 14 seconds to go in the half. Does have three timeouts. Got to be careful here, though. Yeah, if you Kev, be careful. The worst thing you could do. Slip. <laughs> Double pull, but yeah. you did on You don't want to give any points six, away, especially with the way you're playing exact defense. Fumble, yeah. If you're W, you need a pick six force fumble right here. Get yourself right back in the game, but. Second and ten, going to the air again. Golf. Buying time. Wow, good play. And wow. to Allen in field goal That's range at the 30 yard line. That's all day. And That's, That's all a day. day. That's all day. <laughs> and Kim saying that's God, a dot, and I have to agree. That's a hot one right there. Rolls yeah, out, gets in field goal range, and that's not easy to do, Coltrane. That's Perfect on the way up, coach. but just outside the accuracy meter, but kicks it through with two ticks to go in the first half. 24 to 7. Kiv continues to pour it on. What an impressive performance so far by the Kibler. He is really wow, elevating wow. his game to another level, Scott, in this tournament. And we're watching him mature right before our eyes. And you know his buddy, Mike Skimbo, is out there watching. I don't know. He could be on many platforms, maybe on Twitch. Feeling sick right now because young Kib knocked him out of the online stages. And now he's got his buddy, Dubby, down 24-7. to seven. Yeah, and he could knock Dubby out of this Madden challenge. Dubby said he's trying to stop the youth. The youth's looking to send him <laughs> home early because his point differential's not looking good in this game. You know, if Kiv knocks Dubby out, now Kiv's the oldest person in the tournament. <laughs> Who Young Kiv <laughs> is the oldest person in the tournament. If he knocks out Dubby, that's insane. Oh, the youth is taking over. Good time to be a young Madden player, huh? Absolutely. Let's go over to Dave and the gang. Thank you, guys. Yes, Kiv in control. This group all about Dubby and the youth. We've seen some flow going on with these guys. Some boy band vibes happening, guys? Yeah. If uh, Dubby doesn't shape up, it's going to be bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Tell you what, he's sending some heat, though. It's 98 degrees out there. <laughs> he wants it that way. Tell me why. <laughs> you guys, unbelievable. Boy band vibes all over the studio right now. Fantastic. A couple of good games as well. Kiv handling business. Zach, what did you see in that other Hollywood Drenny game? I saw the most amazing play in this game. It was back and forth. And you know the point differential. Watch this. Zero seconds left in the half. Drini's about to tie this game up. He chases him all the way down and tackles him at the one-yard line. No score. So Hollywood got three points just before that. A drop pick for Drini. Almost tied the game. Rico's doing all types of math over there. I'll admit it. I said we need an adult, but Rico here, he's pretty good at math. There's so much going on in this group in the second half, and these point differentials are so big, but that's a moment where that's a 10-point swing, almost a 14-point swing. And these points, Rico, they're going to be crucial. What uh, what do you got Rico over here? Some math already. Let's take a look at our What's standings as, as Rico does his math. What's up, here. NASA? 
<laughs> All right, so here's what I'll tell you. Everybody is still in. Dubby could lose this game and still possibly find his way in. The only one that can't lose is Hollywood. If he loses, he's done. There's a way for everybody to still make it. The best part is all of them are sitting there up on that stage like, it's gonna be me. <laughs> Nice cap off right there with the boy band stuff. Excellent job. Everybody has a lot to play for right now. I want to remind everybody at home that there's a couple of really, really cool Madden events coming up here after the NFL season, towards the end of, uh, towards the end of the NFL season. The Club Championship Series will be taking place in Orlando at the Pro Bowl January 26th to February 1st. And carrying on, there you see it, Minnesota. Madden 18 is heading north for the Super Bowl. There'll be more information about this following up in the next couple weeks. Be sure to tune in. In. As far as we go, we're going to be here through the rest of the week. Tomorrow, we'll be getting our wild card games and our semifinal games. And on Friday, we'll be kicking things off with our Mixer pregame show. And then we will be crowning our Madden Challenge champion on Friday. But right now, Adrian Lawrence is with Kiv on the sidelines. Adrian? Yes, Kiv, you're on the verge of going undefeated in this group. How do you feel? I feel really good. Uh, um, he's got ball out of half, so I. I'll be up 17 with ball and just trying to milk the clock out really and get to the 3 0. And what are you bringing to the game differently this game or are you using kind of the same mentality, same strategy? Um, I'm doing everything the same. I switched up my defense a little bit because he had a pretty easy first drive. So I went to a different defense and it's been giving him some trouble. So that's the only thing I've really changed. My offense is working and then. Uh, I don't know. Everything's just kind of working well right now for me. Well, I hope it continues to go well. Over to the casters. All right. Thank you so much. Well, second half coming your way here, RG. You're looking at your notes. Anything interesting? Well, I or is that a menu for later? I'm looking at the things I got to cross off because one of them was, hey, <laughs> W wants to join Skimbo and get two belts. That's uh, not looking yeah. likely right now. But. Yeah, that's not looking too good. But, you know, Rico and the, the gang mentioned over there that anything could happen here in the second half. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is still in it. It's interesting stuff going on. W needs Hollywood to lose, to yeah. be honest with and, you at this and, point. And let's keep in mind, point differential is a factor. So if you're W, even if you're going to lose this gotta game, fight. you got to fight and keep continuing to score points. And trust me, that man knows that. So we're going to have an interesting second half here, even though the score is 24-7. We still got a ball game. He was down 28 to 3 to Drini in the first game of this group and came back to make it interesting. And Cousins, why not? Hesitates, takes off, slides down at the 35 yard line. Dubby's going to move the sticks. Yeah, Dubby's got great pocket presence. There's some things he does as a Madden player that are more than exceptional. Pocket presence is one of them. His adjustments are world class. I mean, when you see him, when you watch W on stream or whatever it is, he's one of the best at calling out exactly what his opponent wants to do, uh, knows how to take it away. I mean, his skill set is extremely high level. The problem is he's going against one of the hottest players, if not the hottest player in the community right now, the young Kiva. Cousins finds Thomas. He works his way pass midfield another first down for Dubby here on the opening drive of the second half yeah if you're Dubby you gotta fight one drive at a time continue to just move the ball get it downfield pick up first downs move the chains get yourself back in this ball game slowly but surely first and ten Cousins gotta get rid of it Let's Go for a game break with Zach. Look at over here, Scott. We're watching big plays all around the field. Look at that stick work from oh these competitors. Hollywood is just putting a stamp on this thing. Lays out into the end zone. Yeah, 24 to 10 now. Just shows Holly taking care of business. Point differential is going to be a huge factor. Another good slide down by Cousins. That makes it third and 16 after the big sack. So he gets some of those yards back. It's going to be four down territory the rest of the day. There's Landry makes a man oh. miss. Another guy oh. miss. It works it to the 28. So another oh. third down yeah, conversion for Dubby. You got to go for the A tackle. Now he's in business. Inside the 30. 
Kiv upset, t telling himself he needs to go for that conservative tackle. Just need to watch these loop blitzes from those linebackers from Kiv. He's had himself on aggressive tackle for a majority of the day here in Group B. Of course, single limbs tomorrow. Finals on Friday. It's been an awesome week of good. John Madden football. Got purple belt to give away, that Madden Challenge belt. $150,000 getting split up against these eight competitors. They're competing for their chunk of that. Fighting for the all. Yeah, they thing. all made 10 grand just showing up. You could show up to the Madden Challenge, not win a single game, and walk away with 10 grand. It's not bad. Not a bad way to spend the holiday, <laughs> so to speak. Oh, right around the holiday times, huh? Make sure I get on these guys' wish list. <laughs> and a few things I need to pick up. Third get in line. at 12. But we did get a scarf in Jacksonville. Nice scarf. If we were freezing in Jacksonville, Morgan, we had no chance in, that, in Minnesota. Right? Mm. And people were talking trash about that. They're like, oh, well, who are these schmucks with the scullies and gloves on? And Listen, it was cold, dog. The it wind was like, was like 30 miles an hour. No, it was like 40 <laughs> degrees out there. We were outside. It was, you know, a fun event, but needed to bundle up. I'm not trying to get sick. First and 10. Thompson. Mm, that block, big man. To the eight. Yard line. It's going to be second and inches. Good Bubby. Eagles hat on. Got his needed shirt on under that. And what's colder in Jacksonville than Buffalo? I can tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. That day it was, but then showing sure up that weeks. weekend and they had like the. Yeah, the blizzard came the blizzard next week. Game, yeah, yeah, so we lucked week. out. So we lucked out and missed that. Second and inches at the eight. Gonna audible here. Using a lot of clock on this opening drive. Already three minutes gone by. Cousins, quick throw to Landry. Reaching for the goal line. He's gonna be just short. First and goal from about the half yard line. Keep in mind, Dubby's a really smart player. Uh, he's smart when it comes to competitive Madden. Knowing him, he knows what the point differentials are in this situation. and. He obviously doesn't know what's going on in the Kip Dreamy game, but he knows more so than winning this game, the most important thing for him is to make sure that he's getting points. It was 24 to 10 last time we checked in with Zach. And Dubby's got some work to do down here. Loses two. They're going to mark it at the three yard line, second and goal. Needs to get in for a touchdown here on this drive. His sense of urgency of hurrying it's up the like line. It's almost like he's doing math right now. Yeah, exactly. Look at that focus. Philadelphia native. Huge Rocky fan, Sixers, Eagles. Back to the air with Cousins. Good and wide open is D. John oh, Jackson for six. That was a good play by W. Goes to a single back formation on the goal line. Gives Kiv a look. Play he hasn't seen all day. Gets the deep dig coming across the middle. Look at this. Yeah, both defenders go with the little out route, the baby out route, and here comes the dig for six. Yeah, and he had the curl in the middle that took Kiv's user defender out the play. Beautiful play by Dubby. T.Y. All right, this is going to be a big drive here. Got to have Dubs. a stop if you're Dubby. And if he can pull what Drini pulled and, you know, get a sack fumble or find some way to get the ball back here without letting Kiv take too much of the clock or getting any points, not only is he preserving the point, if he's back in the ball game. So this is a big defensive possession right here for Dub oh, Dot Dubby. It's a 10-point game, 102 oh, left here in the third. All going to come down maybe to the points. Thompson. Oh, dang. Works his way past midfield. Got a slew of blockers out in front. And if you dub it, you need to know that the only thing Kip has going for him out of this bunch is his base. So if he's going to run the ball and try to kill the clock, you need to have something set up for the base. Because we talked about it, Kiv is not a run type of player. It's hard for him to milk the game away in these situations. He's only got one down lineman here on first and ten. Both the guys on the outside are standing up. 
And Bridge. the screamer Ooh, just got rid of it. Let's go to Zach with a game break. 14 points would be very, very bad news for Dubby. But good news over here is a touchdown was just scored by Drini to make it 24-17 and pull it close. Scotty's on the move again. I'll fill you guys in. All right, so seven-point really game really over there. Really? Ten point here. And you know some folks out there crunching some numbers. Well, for They're going to make us sound smart at some point. W doesn't know it, but he's the biggest Drini fan in the room right yeah. now. Drini takes care of Hollywood. Then Drini, W, and Kiv would advance. This is going to be the final play of the third quarter. Put your fours up here in L.A. Let's go right back to Zach. Look at Drini go over here, Scott. Five plays, 54 yards. Another handoff right up the middle. Carries it. Fancy juke move. Gets in. And we got a tie game here with four minutes left. Just like that. Bang, bang. Drini's back in the game. 24-24. And maybe Dubby doesn't know it, but he's got a little bit of life. <laughs> I feel like he accidentally busted out a pretty solid rhyme right there. Bang, bang, Drini's back in the game. I, I do what I can, you know, like sometimes. It. But how about Drini? Just for days. Fighting back, though. He's been down a couple times today. Fights through the adversity, gets himself back in those ball games. Impressive poise being shown by that young man. Second and nine. Going deep. And there's Pierre Garçon. Oh, that's Steve, man. What and that's French doing? for touchdown. I want to be on him. I want to be on him, man. Pierre Garçon, the Haitian native. Dubby oh, must have plans on Thursday and Friday. Dubby uh, wants <laughs> to stick around. I think the problem for him here is Kiv is just too hot with the dots right now. Yeah, try to use it, but just the streak right up the man. seam, RG. Yeah, Kiv is just on another level with this gun punch o right now. Question is, how did he get stuck on Eric Allen? And Pierre Garçon just flew by. 17 point game now. Dubby's going to have to step up. He's got his lab partners watching, you know, Skimbo Boogs. Said a couple other guys he labs with that get no cred credit are Rumble, Vilma, balling you up. Those are key guys to a success. Said they don't get any credit, asked me to shout him out. And there's another pick. Norman is going to take. No. Wow, Deshaun Jackson saved the pick six. Wow. Boy, it looked like Norman was all the way into the end zone. Look at this again, RG. Young Kiv is putting on for the youth right now. He said, W, you want to stop the youth from winning one of these majors? Not if I have something to do with it. He is putting hands on Chris McFarlane, a.k.a. Dub.W right now. Shea Kivlin, 20 years old, Seattle, Washington. Declines the encroachment on W. Maybe he wants to stay out at the 15, use a little more clock. But Chris Thompson will get a fresh set of downs at the four. It's first and goal, Kev. Man, this is getting ugly. This is the part where I usually say, if you have young children, I had to want to turn them away from the screen. I mean, for W, the, the biggest important thing that's going to keep him going. Chris Thompson tries to fight is he just needs Drini to win that game against Holly but uh, if Holly could find a way to pull it out against Drini there's some numbers that are going to be running with this point differential in this game right now with Kiv about to score another touchdown it's not looking good for Dubby. Kiv's not going to be able to get in there they're in a tight one over in the other one 24-24 at the two minute warning. Gee. Drini Working his way outside the red zone. We'll get some updates shortly here from Zach. Third and goal for Kev. This would put the game away. Thompson. Down to the two now. Timeout. Dubby. Fourth and goal. Those numbers by young Kev. Nine for 13. 215 yards. Two and it's passing like touchdowns. his worst game. This is and, his worst passing and performance this today. This is consistent. The zero interceptions. He just doesn't make bad reads. Well, he's probably about plus seven in turnover margin. Let's go over to Zach with a game break. Scott, you're looking live into this one. It's Drini just kicked a field goal against Hollywood at the two-minute warning, and now Hollywood's going to have 
his money drive here to try and get the victory. But will it be too little, too late? Howard takes it out. We'll give you a couple plays in this early drive. Halfback stretch here for Holly. New York Giants uniforms. Drini on defense in those Bronco uniforms. Minute 49 to go. Holly at 0-2, Drini at 1-1. Throw to Keenan Allen, gets up the field. He's gonna go back to the line of scrimmage with one minute, 38 seconds. He's got one timeout left. He used them on that earlier drive to stop Drini. He's been running all over him here in the second half. Was down 14, but got easily back into the game with some big defensive stops. Hollywood's got 175 yards and two touchdowns with Kareem Hunt so far in this game. He's got a balanced attack. Looks like he's got an offside. We'll see if he takes a shot here as he goes underneath and Keenan Allen picks up a almost the first down but gets crushed. Miles Garrett was offsides. Minute 16, Hollywood trailing by three with the Rock up at midfield, a big time third and one. He drops back, playmakers, his halfback, Kareem Hunt keeps it in play rather than going out of bounds. 10 for 16 is Goff so far in this game. Remember, the point differential, very impo important. Kiv appearing to go to 3-0 in his W game, who will be 1-2. Hollywood will move to 1-2, guys. I'm going to send it back to you. All right, close one over there. This one is not so close. 20-point game, W on the drive, but points matter right now. Thomas fumbles, but he fumbles out of bounds at the 15. So 121 to go in this one, RG. Yeah, and at this point, this game's over. This is W just strictly fighting for point differential, which could be a huge factor if Holly's able to pull out, pull off that other game. All right, so that's where we're at here, 20-point game. Zach, what's going on over there? Scott, I got 21 seconds left in this. Vernon Davis, who Holly's been using all game long, takes it out of bounds at the 16-yard line for a nine-yard gain. 17 seconds left to use that last time out. So the clock cannot be stopped. It can only go to overtime as Hunt checks down and gets out of bounds. 13 seconds left at the 14-yard line. Drini with a three-point lead. Trying to go to two and one, trying to get out of group stage in his first event. Join his high school friend Joel in Thursday's wild card round. Prodigy is the number one seed out of that group, so Joel will be featured in the wild card round. Kim will be the number one seed out of this group, so big stuff on the line here. As Goff scrambles, gets a little bit closer inside the 12 yard line, maybe gets him a shot at a red zone style play from that area of the field that he couldn't have just accessed. Sec, uh, second and seven with no timeouts. He's got to go to the end zone twice with eight seconds. Two plays, big targets. Keenan Allen, Jarvis Landry, not really the guys you would go for here, but they've been reliable for him today. Does he have one play? Goff looking, rolls out. Three seconds, throws the ball away. He's going to get one more snap here. Smart play to kick the field goal. Send it into overtime. Drini goes for no block. And we've got overtime here, Scott. Send it back over to you boys, and then we'll kick it on. We'll get into some overtime. All right, thank you so much, Zach. Dubby scored. That makes it a 13-point game. Do the math, carry the one. 32 seconds to go in this one, RG. And Young Kiv's going to kneel it out here. He's going to have to bend the knee one more time. But Young Kiv has been absolutely dominant. The only thing we do know is Young Kiv is moving on. Yeah, as the one seed gets the bye straight into the final four. Guarantees oh, yeah. himself $20,000. Prodigy's there, too. Good chance to make ultimate league. <laughs> Um, so that's it. Young Kib like gets the win. Dubby's going to have to wait and see what happens. Back over to you, Zach. Well, we've seen Dubby before wait patiently after a group stage and watch Hollywood play to determine his fate. Eagles-Giants rivalry has always been a, uh, a contentious one, but it's been a good one for Dubby as it's gotten him into a couple different 
advancement situations, and he's looking for it one more time here. Hollywood won the toss in overtime. Received, of course. Except we did see Skimbo kick off at the Patriots Club Championship in New England. Power move. He won the game in overtime against Rose Bowl. So Hollywood's offense got 27 points in this game. Kareem Hunt's been doing it all for him. He's got plenty of time. He's going to motion him out. Pass play here. And he throws off his back foot. Vernon Davis has been pretty reliable for Hollywood so far. Mostly to the flat, but there across the middle. Skinny posts with four different hot routes. Why not just call a different play? Am I right? I mean, if you're just going to hot route four times, you just call a different play. Anyways, Goff hands off the left side here. Hunt looks to break another tackle. That's his 17th carry of the game. That cover four defense able to lock it up for Drini. At this point in a Madden game, you've seen all of your opponent's plays. You've scouted them. It just comes down to execution or if they have one more chess move in their arsenal. Goff throws the out route. Just simple tactical execution from Hollywood. Consistent read, the out route against the right defense. Got rid of that zone underneath it, and Landry gets just his second catch of this game. Landry's been all over mutt draft so far here at the challenge. It's pretty big for Dubby. He's been all right for Hollywood. As we tick below three minutes, Hollywood takes a timeout. You get two in overtime, might as well use them. If you don't know the NFL rules fully, it's the same in Madden, of course. You've got Score to win, a touchdown wins it, a field goal, your opponent gets a drive to respond. If Hollywood was to not score, Drini would just need a field goal to win the game. See some big overtime games so far this season. That Skimbo game I mentioned earlier in New England, and then Kiv in overtime of the club series, or excuse me, club championship in Seattle lost to Killer Mike. Goff rolls out underneath the hunt. Oh. He's approaching field goal range, he's up to the 40-yard line, and he's got a second in one. All players watching closely here, trying to do math, trying to fit those last puzzle pieces into this Group B scenario. It's late on Wednesday night, and you're watching with us, and we appreciate that. And remember, we'll be back on Thursday. We'll be back on Friday for the final got an exclusive pregame show on Mixer for you just before the final. Get some giveaways, all types of good stuff. So stay locked on the channel that you're watching for Madden Challenge action. Third and inches. I think this is four down territory. He's going down to goal line. QB sneak. You haven't seen as many sneaks this year as you have in years past. It was Fairly automatic unless you had pretty advanced sneak D last season, but this year they kind of look like a penguin. And it doesn't always go so well for you. But he's coming out in that single back ace he's been in. He's riding with this formation. Hollywood, 0-2. Trying to get that first one here in group B. Up the middle to Hunt, who's had a big day, but he gets stood up, and now we got a fourth and inches. Looks like he's going back to the deuce close. Pressure's up, and he gets hit, and at midfield, Drini takes over on downs. Jadavian Clowney, the stud, picks up the sack, his first of the day. 46-yard line for Drini, who's been running wild in this game with LaShawn McCoy. Huge gains. Play action. Oh, flag on the play. Holding against the offense. Must have changed his coaching adjustment. You don't see too many holding penalties in ultimate team. Very uncommon, but perhaps aggressive blocking leading to that. Perhaps why he's had so much success on the ground. Get a little more, a little more uh, improved blocking. Second and 18 here, two and a half to go. He's guaranteed a full possession here in overtime. Oh my God, what am I doing? He's going to take another holding penalty. 
Tyron Smith. Aggressive. Legendary left tackle. Not not literally a legend, but I mean, oh my God, that's on so his bad way by me. to being one of the better left tackles in the oh league. Oh my God. Second and 28, oh so he God. did a great job stopping Hollywood on his first drive in OT here. But unfortunately, he's been backed up ever since. Dreedy takes the short drag route. You see A.J. Bouye right there break down on that ball very quickly. Makes yards very difficult. Third and 21, he's looking short across the middle. And I think, folks, we are in four down territory here for Drini on fourth and 10. What's it gonna be? The audible play action. Quick oh throws, God. short. And now Hollywood's gonna take over on downs. He only needs a field goal here to win this game. Look at this play action pass, the replay up. Oh big time, fourth and 10. Kind of quick through it, maybe panicked a little bit. But now with just two minutes to go, Hollywood needs about 35 yards to kick a game-winning field goal. And he's looking for it right here. To the halfback, out of the backfield. Hunt, who's had a huge game, secures the pass down the sideline, and Hollywood's fist pumping. Rico's checking off boxes, doing math. Thinking, does he need to score three, score six, score eight? How many points can you score at once? Get a safety, I don't know. Maybe something we don't even know about yet. Something, we'll figure it out. 27 up, minute 30 to go. It's gonna be more Kareem Hunt. We'll see if he decides to go all the way. He's looking over at the other screen to try and figure out what happened in that game. Drini looks nervous. Look at that. You're at your first event, your boy Joel's. If you don't make it out of groups and your boy Joel makes it out of groups, you're gonna hear about it from your boy Joel. So that's what that look is, if I had to say. Almost 200 yards here for Hunt. The rookie who's having a big season and a big Madden challenge. Drini's gonna take a timeout. And this play here, they're very unsure of what's going on. They make their last adjustments here before the big fourth down. And that's what it's gonna be. Fourth and one, and Hollywood's gonna take the field goal to win this game. And he punches it through 30 to 27. Hollywood gets the victory over Drini. But will it be enough? Both players here trying Bro, to figure out strong, exactly man. what's happening. Little handshake. Looks frustrated. Had a chance in overtime, Dave, after getting that stop.